Uh, you need to work, if you, if, depending upon how well you want to do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA. And uh, we're, we're so hot up, we had just one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. If somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done, as much done in the course of a year as, the, as uh, the other company. Now is the time to take risk. But as you as you get older, your obligations increase, and once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time to do that. What are you remembering? The hurt, the pain, what didn't work out? Turn it around and remember your dream. The true mark of a champion is even though some dirt gets thrown on your dream, instead of letting it get buried, you keep shaking it off. You keep moving forward. You wouldn't be having that opposition if you didn't have something great in you. If your dream wasn't alive and on track, right on schedule to come to pass, you wouldn't have so many things coming against you. Can I tell you, your dream is not dead. It's just not in season. Your time is coming. These light afflictions are for a moment. The adversity is temporary. The glory is eternal. I'm asking you to remember your dream. Remember what God's promised you. If you'll do this, dreams that you bury are about to come back to life. Promises you've given up on are being resurrected. You're going to rise higher, accomplish your goals, and become everything you were created to be. We all have things that we're believing for. You have to stop it. Dreams that we want to accomplish. Problems we're hoping will turn around. But sometimes as it goes on, month after month, even year after year, we don't see anything changing. It's easy to get discouraged and think. It's never going to happen. This is as good as it gets. I'll just learn to live with it. We all go through disappointments, setbacks, loss. Pain is a part of life. It's easy to get discouraged, even bitter. And why is this happening? Sometimes we look at pieces in our lives that don't make sense. The key is what we do in our times of pain. Pain will change us. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Seven. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or moving faster. If that fourth launch hadn't worked, that would have been it. Um, we would have not had the resources to mount a fifth. You couldn't have gone out at that point. We, we, it, yes, death would have been, I think, inevitable because we did not have the resources to, to mount a fifth launch. But when uh, critics say you can't do this, your answer to them is, we've done it. You're digging it back out.